Okay, y'all, let me ask you something. Do you honestly think that Gabrielle Union would let her own child transition at 12? Well, for someone who encouraged her stepdaughter and Dwayne Wade's daughter Zia to transition at such a young age, people are saying that her motivation may have been malicious, especially since Zia's birth mother Siobhan Funis Wade specifically said that she did not want Zia to make that decision until she was like 18. So what may have been Gabby and Dwayne's motivation to encourage Zia? You doing the real mom who wants her children to have a fair chance at making their own decisions while you and your I want to be a husband Convince your child that they need to get the whole trans thing going on now so they can get a Disney contract. And we all know what Disney does to children. Imagine what they do to trans kids. So Zia initially identified as gay before she came out as trans. And upon her request, her father, Dwayne Wade, filed a petition with Los Angeles County Superior Court to have her name legally changed. Remember, Dwayne had already talked a few times about Zia's decision to transition, saying that he was in full support of the decision. Zaya early on, she was the one who sat down with us as a family and said, hey, I don't think I'm gay, right? I identify myself as a young lady, but she's, she's known that for now. Right, it's definitely something to imagine that she was that sure that she wanted to transition at such a young age. But that's what Zia's dad insisted on. I gathered more language. She was able to tell us about her identity. Mm -hmm. She was able to tell us about her sexuality. She was able to tell us, I'm trans. And she says, I've come out a few times. But here's where we get even more interesting. The thing is, while Zia's birth mother wanted her to make that decision after she turned 18, Gab was telling her that it was okay to make that choice at whichever age and openly encouraged her choice. For her to be able to see so many members of her community, of our community, that she's looked up to, that have inspired her, that have held her down, you know, had her back, is, is pretty huge. And, and there's not too many moments where I'm, as a parent, where I, I get to deliver. Gabrielle even said in a few interviews that she has never felt more connected in her life to anyone else, like she feels connected to Zia. And I don't know what she meant by that. But some people have said that it's pretty offensive, especially because Gab knows exactly how Zia's birth mother felt about the transition. In fact, Gabrielle allegedly kept Zia from her birth mother and dismissed her opinion about the decision to transition. I mean, Zia's birth mother had already said that Dwayne was pressuring their child to move forward with the name and gender change in order to profit from business opportunities that their child was offered she was. Actually of the opinion that Z should wait until she was 18 to decide if she wanted to legally change her name, let alone her gender. And she put that in a petition where she said he informed me that a lot of money had been already made and that additional money will be made in relation to our child's name and gender issue. Wade told me that he intended to make our child very famous due to the name and gender issue and also informed me that there would be endorsement slick contracts associated therewith. Now, let me ask you something. How many deals has Zia bagged since she transitioned a lot right? But does that mean that her birth mother was right when she said that Gabrielle and Dwayne only encouraged her to transition because of the endorsements also? Look at it this way. Other than Zia, Dwayne does have other kids, but Gabrielle never even bothers to mention them. It's like they don't exist, so I as it that she doesn't care since she can't exploit them for points and clicks anyway. In addition, Z's birth mom said that, given Dwayne's high-profile status as a professional athlete, their children's lives have been highly publicized, and that Dwayne had appeared on national television shows and in media reports regarding their child's name and gender change, Zia's birth mother only said that she was concerned about their child being commercialized at a young age, and she was also afraid of the uncontrollable consequences of media exposure statements and her pictures taken out of context of their child and unwanted spotlight focused on Zia now. According to most people as a mother this is something that Gabrielle should have understood but instead of reasoning with Zia's birth mom she was all over talking about how she was proud of Zia and how she supported her her decision. In fact, there were reports saying that just like Dwayne Gab thought that Zia's birth mother was being self-centered. And this is what Dwayne wrote in his response to Siobhan's petition. While none of us are surprised by Siobhan's attempt to fight my child's identity and her unwavering attempt to drag my name through the mud, I'm very disappointed that she continuously finds ways of censoring herself and her needs without regard to her children. In addition, he also said that since Zia's mother was an absentee mother, she did not have any say in anything that was happening in Zia's life. He said Siobhan has decided to pretty much be an absent parent to Ziolan. Her own, I will not sit on my hands this time and allow her to make a mockery of my dedication to my family. The high road has run out of real estate. People are assuming that before Dwayne put out that statement, he consulted Gabrielle, who probably helped him make the statement bashing Z's birth mother. 
and people said that if Gabrielle really cared about Siobhan's opinion, she would have respected that she wanted Z to at least turn 18 before making that choice okay other than the birth mom. There's also how Gabrielle has been fighting people who have commented on why she should not have allowed Zia to transition at such a young age like boy. I gotta say something about this, bro. Dwayne Wade, you gone too f***ing far, dog. That is a male. A 12-year-old. At 12, they don't even know, they don't even know what their next meal gonna be. They don't even, they don't have sh figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything, at 16 and fall in love with her. But it's be gone. How you gonna uh, He's so preoccupied. Yeah, he is. Very it's much almost so. almost like thou doth protest too much, little booze. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look You've got a lot of in your mind. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's Throw like that out there. It's like Zaya and Lil Nas X live in his head. For <laughs> free, so rent free. Like, what? It's like, sir. <laughs> um, something you wanna just go ahead and tell us. <laughs> this is a safe space. <laughs> We can be your sex. She's a black Chris Jenner. She done turned her husband into a bitch. <laughs> he wants to be a woman. That's why they're getting divorced. She went on Twitter, cussing out Diddy, and then deleted it. Because Diddy want to um, throw Dwayne um, a, 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 a divorce freak off. <laughs> why is it a problem? He been freaking off. Why you care? You was at the freak off with it. Did he want to throw Dwayne out? What now? Anywho about those divorce rumors a few months ago, there were reports that the divorce was underway. And it didn't help that Dwayne was allegedly spotted with multiple women. And then he was spotted with an unnamed woman later on. And they apparently engaged in a lengthy and intimate conversation for about two hours. Well, people have also always speculated that one of the reasons why Gab was okay with Zia's decision was because she's a beard herself and part of the agreement she has with Dwayne is that she has to allow Dwayne to live his fantasies through Zia. I said, when me and my wife looked at each other, right, and the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels, I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, when all my sisters did. I I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front, so they went to the back and there was a bunch of old f and f young boys back there, all ass naked in the way. So to a lot of people, the alleged fake marriage is probably one of the reasons why Gab was fine with encouraging Z to transition. But that aside, what I really want to know is what do you think about Z's journey? Do you believe that Gabrielle and Dwayne only encouraged Zia to transition because of the endorsements? Do you see how Dwayne is living his fantasies through Zia sound off in the comments section below? You doing the real mom who wants her children to have a fair chance at making their own decisions while you and your I want to be a husband convince your child that they need to get the whole trans thing going on now so they can get a Disney contract. And we all know what Disney does to children. Imagine what they do to trans kids. So Zia initially identified as gay before she came out as trans. And upon her request, her father, Dwayne Wade, filed a petition with Los Angeles County Superior Court to have her name legally changed. Remember, Dwayne had already talked a few times about Zia's decision to transition, saying that he was in full support of the decision.